So these automated mastering services have been around for quite a few years now and there's one called Lander that I'm using for this test and there's various other ones and they basically allow you to pay a sort of subscription or one-off fee uh, to get an automated master of your tune. So you just sign up, pay your money and upload your file and within minutes you get a mastered track back. I went for the standard version which costs £8 on Lander for one track. Um, I'll be honest and upfront and say that I'm really dubious about uh, these kind of services. Robots coming over here taking our jobs. And I tend to think that if they were really, really good, then everyone would be using them and there wouldn't be mastering engineers. Um, but there are. And I think that anyone that's really serious about their music is going to use a, a person. That's what I think before. What I thought would be fun for you guys is I'm just going to give you a blind test. So I'm just going to play one master and then the other and see if you can guess which is the real human being and which is the lander mastered. Exciting, isn't it? Are you up for this, yeah? Should we do it? All right, here we go. Read between the lines There's a changing of the ways Or opportunity Okay, so my thoughts on this. Um, before I even listen to them, I uh, run the two tracks through a loudness meter um, to see what how they compared against each other. I could already see that the lander track was going to be a lot louder just from the waveform. Um, but I run it through and it was about 3 dBs uh, louder in average volume. So uh, basically I just turned it down 3 dBs and they, they balanced up quite nicely because the, the dynamic range, the LU range, between my master and the lander master um, was the same. So my, my very first impression, like the first, you know, one second of it playing was like, oh, it's better than my version. <laughs> because it's kind of you can hear that there's like a, a big kind of bass lump in the middle of the sound it's like all the bass has been kind of monoed and brought into the middle but sort of right up into the low mids as well so it's kind and that overall the, the bass just seems a bit more in your face and louder and um partly as well due to like i think a lot of the upper mids are, are quite suppressed um in the sound which 
for me for that track doesn't work at all because first of all when when it gets a bit denser the mix like after sort of first 10 seconds or something like that um the kick and bass they're just kind of muddied together in this sort of bass and low mid kind of melee just in slammed in the middle of the mix it's almost like that's meant to be the main thing of the song like you know if it's a vocal or something like that just this big lump of kind of slightly muddy sound you can hear the distortion where you know that the the kicks just getting squashed by the limiter and the the relationship between the bass and the kick is really muddied so you can't really hear and distinguish the the space between the two so like it's a bit of a kind of crass bastardization of the tune in my opinion but i don't want to be too scathing because uh what i did notice on the the, the plus side for lander is uh because of the amount of squashing it pushed the vocal nicely into the mix which is something that i thought my master might have been lacking after listening to that but we'll see like in the future when i listen back to it again um uh, also, as I say, it seemed like the 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 bass had all been brought into the middle. Um, also, everything that was kind of wide seemed a, a little bit thinner as a result. Like the guitars that that are kind of uh, the single guitar that's kind of quite widely panned um, sounded a lot thinner on the Lander version for me. And generally, the kind of detail in of the instruments in the kind of upper mid range uh just wasn't as obvious like there wasn't as much like of a, an attack on the snare for example i think it aims to impress people by making things loud and bassy i think that's the, the approach that's been taken with lander and it obviously works there's they've got like three million users or something like that so fair play to them they're doing something right giving people what they want um but it's certainly not for me not on this demo anyway and another thing that i did do is set up a match eq between the two masters so i use my master as a reference and uh, the lander as the uh, current program material and run them over a good proportion of the track and then uh, matched the eq so you can see what's been changed and it is quite interesting actually to look at there's been a big cut around sort of 50 hertz it's kind of being squashed that kind of 50 60 hertz presence that it had um it's been kind of smashed by the limiter or perhaps it's been eq'd out beforehand but um throughout the rest of the range there's a kind of little bit of a peak around the 1k mark i'm not sure why that is perhaps to give things a bit more kind of perceived presence um, as you go up the range there's a little tiny sort of dip around the 2k 3k mark and uh, when you get up to sort of 7 8k it starts rolling off um, until you get to 20k where there's a lift there and I assume that lift is to, to give kind of a bit of air back, back into the mix so I do think my suspicions have been confirmed um it's like a catch-all approach to mastering doesn't seem to make much sense um i think most sort of mastering engineers producers mix engineers would kind of consider what they do uh an art in the same way as being a, a musician is arti an artistic endeavor there's definitely an artistic side to mixing and mastering it's very technical as well but there's definitely some kind of art there and and it's all about catering for the particular piece of music you're working on um if it was just a case of oh, give it more bass make it louder and that's it then we wouldn't have such a thing as mastering engineers so what do you think about it do you think my version was better do you think lander's version was better um, what do you prefer? What are you looking for in a sound? Maybe one day the technology will get better and maybe everyone will be using this and there won't be mastering engineers. Free mankind from drudgery, that's the idea, right? 
So maybe we could have uh, the robots like uh, making the music and, and playing the music as well and listening to it as well. Then we wouldn't even have to do that as well. That would be amazing. Then what would we be doing? I'm not sure. Just sort of making robots, I suppose. Okay, that's it. Um, I hope you found it useful. Um, I certainly did. I can sleep well at night now knowing I've still got a job. Um, um, so uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and visit my website my mix master you can hear some of our previous work or get in touch with me if you just want to talk about mastering or mixing um, have a good day see you in the next video bye look out